Hi, this is Dr. Scott Young with Hearing Solutions Centers, and I want to introduce you to a newest technology. It's something that we call AGX-SP. What is it? Well, first off, it's built with our, our newest type of hearing aid. It's an over-the-ear, or called RIC, receiver in the canal. And it's still very small. But the unique thing is that it's driven into an iPhone or an iPad type of circumstance. They have to have a uh, iPad 4 or 3, an iPad Air, iPad Mini, or the iPhone 5 series to run this effectively. Now we still do the programming because there's as many as 70 to 115 separate adjustments that we do by the computer, but you get a chance to play with that. So let's look at some, some of the things that it has. One of the features is the first one is remote. We can come up here and set it to normal. We can change our memory to a car setting, which will reduce down the volume if you're in a car going faster than 10 miles an hour. That's a, that's a feature of the hearing aid, but it's told through the iPhone uh, or iPad. Auditorium. Auditorium, maybe we're going to have a little extra boost when you're at church and you can't understand as well. Maybe the pastor wants to speak so softly. Office space, where we really want to maybe boost up the sound a little bit in a very special way. We can mute the microphones. Now people think, well, why would I want to have a remote? I mean, all these other hearing aids have remotes. How many times do you have the remote in, in other circumstances? But how many times would you walk away from the world without your cell phone? And the answer is never. If you left the house without your cell phone, you're going to be frantically driving back to go find it. That's the reality. That's why we kind of came up with this. I'm going to skip over to the, the microphone set, section over here. So we could record sounds, and you can see it going along, along the screen here. And it's recording the sound. If you were having a difficult place and you're trying to say, I don't know how to tell the audiologist how to adjust that. Well, this is the way that you would do that. You say, this is what it sounds like at home. And we have patients that, that feel that way. Probably about 10% of our patients have some difficulties explaining exactly what's going on. And so they could do that. They could record it. Here's a recording now. It's read it out, if you can see that. We stop the recording and we can say, it's the house. Say OK. Come over here. Stop it. And then they could take that sound, play it for me if she wanted to in the office, or she could say, no, I just want to email it to him. So I'm going to email it. That's really cool.